Welcome to Siargao, the palm tree laced surfing capital of the Philippines. Located just 800 kilometers southeast of Manila, this beautiful green paradise has so much to offer. Endless scenic roads surrounded by beautiful palm trees, stunning beaches to hang out, relax or go surfing, and countless spots just to unwind and relax. You'll find wonderful locals, small little spots to grab coffee and fruit bowls, amazing grilled Filipino food or traditional Filipino cuisine and if you feel like some Western food there's even some great Italian spots and of course the surrounding beautiful islands for some amazing island hopping. Well today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to plan a trip to Chagao starting with how to get there. Del Carmen is the small airport that's located on the western half of the island you can fly there directly with Cebu Pacific, Philippine Airlines or Skyjet. An airport shuttle will take you to Cloud9 for 300 pesos per person. A scooter rental will cost you around 400 pesos per day but you can always negotiate the price. We found a great alternative to scooters. For 800 pesos per day you can get a beautiful vintage motorbike from Luz Keys located in Cloud9. I've linked some accommodations in the description down below. We stayed at Ocean 101 which was a great deal at 12,000 pesos per week. Chagao has some amazing food and here are our top food spots starting with Katina Luna. They serve modern Filipino cuisine in an absolutely beautiful ambience. The food was really tasty and the price for value was amazing. Don't skip the Halo Halo, the Philippines national dessert. Number two on our list is Mama's Grilled. Amazing grilled fish and Filipino meats. The ambience is raw, smoky and it just was a great experience. For breakfast, a snack or just coffee, you just have to try Shaka. I really love the team working there, the coffee is great and their fruit bowls are amazing. If you want to eat like a local, head on over to JM Carinderia. They have traditional Filipino foods that the locals like to eat. And finally, if you feel like some Western cuisine, some Italian food, then head on over to Kermit. They have great pizzas, delicious pastas and some great wine as well. Well, with our bellies full, next up, let's talk about the amazing things you can do in Chargao. Starting with the simplest of all, just grabbing a scooter or one of those vintage bikes and venturing out on this beautiful, beautiful island. The roads in Chargao are truly pristine. Next up, island hopping. We booked an island hopping tour with My Chargao Guide. The islands we visited were so beautiful. The water was blue and clear and the boodle fight we had on one of the islands was so delicious. All in all, this was a great experience and I can recommend it to everybody. It costed only around 1,600 pesos per person and it's well worth the money. The natural pools at Magpupungpo should definitely be on your list. There's a small entrance fee of around 50 pesos when you arrive there and you also have to pay for parking for your scooter but the pool is so nice and you won't want to miss this. The next place is Socorro but I'll let my friends Trina and Pia explain this place. Socorro. Some people have called this the El Nido of the South but Socorro is a special place in its own right. Our tip is to head to a place called Sahutan Cove National Park which is really like paradise on earth. There are literally hundreds of little islets covered in lush green trees. This truly was the most beautiful place that we've been to. You'll have to fly to Surigao City or Shargao and then take a private long tail boat to get here, but it's definitely worth the trek. We spent the day paddling around crystal clear blue lagoons, snorkeling with stingless jellyfish, cliff jumping and exploring caves. Pierre even had a try at spear fishing. If you want more inspirations for Chagao and want to see all the places that we visited, we kept all of our Instagram stories in the story highlights. So head on over to Making It Happen Vlog on Instagram, leave us a follow and shoot me a private message. We reply to all comments and messages. I hope this video was able to inspire you for your trip to Chagao and maybe even helped make up your mind to travel there. In any case, I really love this place and I want to go back there soon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, leave us a comment down below what other places in the Philippines you'd like to visit and I guess I'll see you in the next video guys. Goodbye.